Lorenzo, yeah. Julien Reboulet from l'équipe. Um, well, how do you feel after such a win? Uh, I mean, uh, I'm extremely happy, a uh, little bit tired because the match was long, was uh, really a tough battle till the end. And uh, I think, um, uh, you know, when there's a lot of emotion, then after after match, uh, it's, uh, it's tough to recover well and take the adrenaline away of the of the match but i i will uh, i will do my best for for be ready to for tomorrow was it difficult the, the rain break what did you do during one hour no uh just had a um, quick shower uh change everything and try to uh relax but stay stay ready to be to be prepared to 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 fight for another hour <laughs> And uh, you know, I just um, for me it was was not tough because uh, he told me to be more uh, to have more trust on uh, and believe that I that I could that I could win the match to, tonight. And um, you know, it's some sort of feelings that I had um, during the match that uh, I I saw a chance, and uh, tonight I, I I was able to to take it. And uh, at the end was uh, last game was really complicated, but at the end it was like sort of uh, uh, relief for for me. The beginning of this year was not very easy for you. How do you come from Marrakech, where you lost against uh, Alexandre Muller, to yeah. here, where you you have these three battles in a row, and now you? You're winning against the number one in the world. Yeah, I mean, uh, pff, there was uh, was not such a great period for me, but even Marrakesh had my chances to to win against uh, Muller. I was uh, one break up in the third. I was started to to play better uh, compared to the to the last month in South America and in, 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 in the States. So I I mean I I, I kept believing on on my team on uh, on the hard work that we are doing every day and uh, I try to adjust something and uh, I think I, I worked pretty hard in uh, in the last month to to achieve these results that they are showing up today so I'm uh, really proud of uh, of my team and of my of my of my family that uh, always support me one last you played already three times against Djokovic before did you see Today something different. We saw he was in bad mood. He had this sleeve. Did you feel I don't know his ball was different? What what you knew? I don't know. Honestly, it's uh, always uh, such a unique player. You can never count him out. Um, I think uh, somehow was uh, we we were both struggling at the beginning because was the condition were not easy to play. It was a lot of wind. Uh, it was cold, and uh, even the the balls and the condition were completely different from from the other days and from the past days. So probably we had to. I think our highest level, especially in the match, was at the end uh, or at the end of the second set. And uh, in the third set, we were uh, we were serving better. We were, uh, uh, I think, uh, having uh, more rallies, long rallies. And uh, at the end, I'm I'm happy with the win, and I, I I didn't focus too much on him. I just had to think of what I had to do to to beat him. Because uh, even if he plays good, he's still the even if he plays bad, he's still the the number one in the world. So you you can never count him out, and you have to kill him like ten times.